All right, guys, what's going on? It's 4.20 p.m. Get the jokes out, but it's Saturday right now, and I will silence my computer so you don't hear any messaging sounds while I do this voiceover as we get in to delts and traps. You know, going into this lift, I was thinking I was going to do back and tries, but I was like, nah, screw it. I really haven't hit my traps right for at least a week, and I'm just really feeling delts. So I went in and I got a really solid workout and I did some movements. You're going to see that I, well, I did one movement that I don't really do a lot. And I've even talked bad about, like, I've been like, yeah, I hate this movement. You'll see it later on, but it felt amazing today. And it's going to become a staple most likely, most likely for sure, because of how it hits the traps and the delts together. But as you see, we're warming up here with lateral raises. And this is something that I've been doing probably for the past month. Or maybe not even that long, maybe just two weeks or three weeks. I've been warming up hard for the lateral raises, starting out with like the tens and then just working my way up. I'd say I did like five or six sets total, keeping the beginning of the sets like high rep and then the middle sets, I'll, you know, aka the heaviest sets, I might go a little bit lower rep. And then usually I'll drop down a little bit at the end and then crank up the reps again. And, and after doing this, I just I get a lot of blood into the shoulders. I get my shoulder area, my rotator cuff, everything really warmed up, lubricated, feeling good. My heart rate up a little bit, a little bit of a sweat going. Take off the hoodie and I'm able to get into the workout and get into my pressing motion. Just overall feeling really solid. So woke up this morning at 180.0 pounds, which is awesome because after my cheat last Monday, I was 189.2. So we're right back on track, guys. Didn't really waste any time at all. And we're on our way to under 180 once again. And we'll slowly make our way to 170. You'll be able to watch me do that. But getting into this pressing here. Uh, probably the main-ish movement of the lift, 135 on the barbell militaries for a set of 15. After all that pre-exhausting, pretty happy with matching my rep PR there. Then I cranked it up to 155, and this is the heaviest I went. I didn't want to go to 185 just because I wasn't feeling it, but I was able to crank out 9 here. And then I dropped down to the 135 again, and I think I got like 10. So that was pretty solid. I only did three sets on the pressing, and then I got right into these upright rows. Now, this is the movement I was talking about in the beginning, guys. You don't see me do this a lot. You're not going to see me do this at all. And uh, the thing is, I never liked this movement. I've tried it with dumbbells. I tried it on the Smith machine. I've tried it with an easy curl bar, the curved bar. And for some reason, I never really felt it. But today, I don't know what made me go do it. I was just like... I I think it's because I wanted to hit my traps a lot more, and this will hit your traps, especially depending on your grip. So, you know, I did it, and uh, not only did it hit my traps well, I just feel like my everywhere in my shoulders, you know, even my upper back, I really got a solid contraction, keeping it pretty light here and going damn close, probably all the way to failure. Just whatever, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the barbell. It just felt really, really good. So I ended up doing more sets on this than I think any other exercise in this lift with the exception of the lateral raises which I did a good amount of sets on just because you know if I'm doing if I'm doing an exercise guys and it's really on point I'm just going to keep going with it you know I'll do it to the point where I feel like I'm not really getting anything else out of it you know stimulate the muscle with that movement and then move on to these staple for my uh, rear delts I'll switch on on and off between this and reverse pec deck but I really like this because once again, you're hitting your traps here, you're hitting your upper back, but you really are hitting your rear delts well. And the thing with this is I was on this set, I was going real heavy. So as you see, it's not going to be a real strict set. This is my first set. I'm using the fifties here, which are a little bit heavier. And then I was able to hit them for another set and then drop down for like three more sets or maybe two more to lighter weight before I got into the shrugs, barbell shrugs, kept them 225. For the first few sets, rest time was very short. So as we went on, um, not only did I get a little less reps, grip strength started to give a little bit. But believe it or not, my grip is actually pretty strong these days after not using straps for a little while. So it felt pretty solid. And I, was, I think I did two or three, I think three sets of 225 and then, or maybe two. And then I just did a little drop set for my last set to 135 because I wanted to really squeeze the traps and, and feel it nicely and uh, obviously with this weight your grip is going to be less likely to fail but felt it real nice in the traps guys as I said body weight is good 180 pounds flat 
I don't really want to have a cheat tomorrow, but I it's probably necessary to have at least one meal untracked uh, to fill out a little bit and make sure I diet hard this next week because I'll be sub 180 very easily since I'm 180 flat today and I did a good amount of activity. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video and that's going to be this workout guys. Stay tuned for the rest of this video and peace out until next time. Post-workout meal guys. Got a nice little assortment right here. Start right to left. Chicken with ketchup as you know. Always got that ketchup on deck. Can't really eat it without without something on it. Uh, and I'll probably use mustard when I run out of ketchup. But ketchup also on the vegetables. And lastly, oatmeal. No ketchup on the oatmeal though. Gonna eat this while it's hot, guys. My microwave's not that powerful, so I gotta heat all this stuff up separately for like a long ass time. That's the video though. If you enjoyed it, comment, like, sub up. Follow me on Insta. Catch you guys soon. Peace out.